Welcome to Stuff Lab. I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. It's a fact video. Mm-hmm. It's a fact video, y'all. On animals? On animals. All right. Someday it won't be, and you'll be so unprepared. I'm going to not know what to do. I've got my facts. Do you have okay. your guesses? I'm really good at guessing. Yeah. I'm not really. Cats, dogs, various fluffy animals. You're close with dog. Hyena. Dingoes. No. Wolf. No. Coyote. No. Tasmanian tiger. No. What else? Other dogs are there? It's the African wild dog. Oh. Look at him. He's got big old ears. He does have big old ears. And it doesn't look like they're able to pick what, what pattern to give him. Fun fact. The patterns vary greatly, and they can distinguish one another by their patterns for up to 100 meters away. Crazy. Wild. Uh, they live in the sub-Sahara Africa. There's about 6,600 adults, like breeding mm -hmm. age adults. Uh, remaining, they're threatened from habitat infringement, human hunting, and diseased. No. They've been listed as endangered since 1990. Hmm. Uh, they live I love their ears. They are very cute. They live in packs, so they're scattered. Mm -hmm. Wide swath okay. of scattering. Yeah. Uh, what's interesting about them is in their pack life, when males are born, they don't drive away the males. Mm -hmm. They drive away the females to create new packs. To unintentionally, but intentionally, avoid inbreeding. Okay. Which would be good. Yeah. It's uh, very good. Yeah. So, to the shoulder height, how tall are, are these beasts? Well, they look like they have big old legs. Um, I'm going to say, they're not that, I don't think they're that big. I think they're just a lot of leg. So, I'm going to say two feet at the shoulder. 24 to 30 inches at the shoulder. Uh, they weigh between 40 and 79 pounds. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they're just small pups. Yes. Length, not including the tail, is 28 to 44 inches. Okay. Uh, they have st stiff, bristle hair with no under fur, hmm. and their color patterns can vary drastically. I don't care what kind of dogs they are. I love dogs. What they hunt. What do you think they hunt? Seals. Uh, kudus. Yes. Yeah. They hunt the greater kudu, Thompson's gazelle, which is exactly the gazelle you're thinking of. Okay. Is the most populous gazelle in all of Africa. <laughs> okay. The impala, the bushbuck, and the blue wildebeest. They pursue their prey to exhaustion. Okay. They are also hyper carnivores. Uh, they will stealthily creep up on their prey and chase them for 10 to 60 minutes. Oh my God. Uh, they have a higher success rate in hunts than larger animals, such as lions. Lions have a 30 to 60% success rate. African wild dogs have up to 90% success rate of hunting. Dang. Okay. Because there's so many of them working together. Okay. So, so star starvation is not one of the things leading them to extinction? No. Okay. No. No, it is not. They can strip down a Thompson's gazelle, the gazelle that everyone mm -hmm. thinks of, in how long? Um, they leave the skeleton and the skin and the head when they strip an animal down. A whole pack working together? 19 minutes. Close. 15. 15 oh. minutes they can have that bad boy stripped. God, it's crazy. Uh, predators are lions and hyenas. Bigger ones, yeah. Yes. Lions will steal a kill from them. Hyenas are a parasitic competitor. They'll wait for them to make the kill, and because they're so much larger, they'll mm -hmm. move in and steal it from them. Hyenas are jerks, but I think they're super cute. Mm -hmm. Everyone's <laughs> favorite part, breeding! <laughs> uh, the dominant pair usually monopolizes breeding. Other pups from other pairs within the group mm -hmm. may be killed off because it is so hard to feed such a vast number. Mm -hmm. There's no fixed breeding season for the population in East Africa. Southern Africa, they usually breed between April and July. Uh, females may be forced out if they're related to other pack members, preventing inbreeding in the pack. Mm -hmm. So they go, mmm, you're related to this one, you gotta go. Okay. And then they join new packs. Gestation is 69 to 73 days, with 12 to 14 months between each pregnancy. Okay. Uh, each single female can produce enough young to create a new pack every year. And even Jeez. with that happening, they're still endangered. That's... It's wild, right? It's <clears throat> estimated that in about a hundred years, the population, population will dramatically decrease from just the way they do this. 
I'm not certain why it didn't have any other information. Right, on it seems to me like they should be. They're, they're, I mean, they're not even doing the, like inbreeding within the, its own packs. So like you'd think that like, and especially if each female can create enough to make a pack, like you'd think they'd be. Well, you have to think booming. basically all the pups from a pack or from all the pups from a litter are going to be ejected out yeah. because they're related to the dominant male mm -hmm. or female. Yeah. So they can't create their own pack. Mm. They have to join others. And if they have a sibling that recent that recently joined that other pack, they won't be accepted. Hmm. Yeah, I just there's So like, they have to find themselves. <laughs> when I think about Africa, I think of like 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 they're just all the coasts have cities, but like the middle's just like I've watched enough Grand Tour. There, there's like nothing in the middle. It's, Males and females both have dominance hierarchies. Okay. Which is unusual. Yeah, that is, yeah. Unlike most packs, females leave the pack to join another one once they have matured. If they're not ejected out, they leave on their own. Mm -hmm. Under one year old pups get to feed first on a carcass to ensure the next generation. Makes sense. And food will also be regurgitated for the young and for adults. And it's a large part of their social life, making sure that everyone gets fed. <laughs> so some will overfeed themselves to bring food back for those who can't come and feed themselves. Hmm. Gross, but okay. Mm -hmm. They're also known as the painted wolf or cape hunting dog. They're the largest indigenous canine species in Africa. What? What is a hyena? Is that considered a canine or is that considered a George's home? Or is that considered a... Uh, for those who don't know, George has a backup beeper on his truck for work, and whenever we hear it, we say George is home, so Marty won this time. Yeah. You don't win anything, you set the glory of winning. Yeah, that's fine yeah. with me. Yeah, like, is a hyena considered a canine, or is it considered a feline? I or is it his totally own thing? I assume they're part of canine. Well, that well that said that they were, these guys were the largest canine. But I haven't looked up hyenas. I guess so. So I have hmm. no way to confirm nor deny. Crazy. So now that you've learned about the African wild dog, what do you think? I think that people should stop killing them. And they don't, they seem like very smart dogs. Maybe people in Africa domesticated them. There you go. Like we did. We domesticated a bunch of dogs. Uh, they're the, one of the furthest away relatives of domesticated dogs. Wait, they're wild dogs. They're like, yeah, that, that's like, yeah, that would be like the furthest thing from a domesticated dog. And one of the furthest yeah. things from like gray wolves <clears throat> or timber wolves. Oh. They're very distant. Yeah, the pilot wouldn't listen well then. Well, no, they're a pack animal, so much like uh, huskies or things mm -hmm. that are used to being together, they need that they togetherness. They would need the rest of them. Hmm. They need that togetherness to function. Yeah. I'm sure it could be done. It would take a while. We need to get some African wild dogs. Mm, I don't know about that. I think it'd be fun. We'd give them know. tons of pets and smooches and belly rubs. That or dingoes. Mm. No, hyenas. That or hyenas. I don't want something that could crush my femur in an I instant. I just... <sighs> are so cute. They are cute. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab. Uh, let us know below what you think uh, we should get as a theoretical pet. Should we get a wild dog or a hyena? We'll see you next time on Stuff Lab. Bye! Bye. <laughs>